Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold at the Second Swing Minnetonka Tour Van. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell and Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. And today we're talking about overspeed training. So if you've been to our channel uh, recently, you've probably seen Thomas using the Super Speed Golf Overspeed Training Sticks right here. Um, but another one in the market here, the Rip Stick, uh, is also out there. So there's more than one option for uh, overspeed training uh, for golfers that are interested in maybe gaining some club speed. Uh, so we're going to talk about both of them today, the advantages of each one. Uh, but Thomas, I first just wanted to ask you about the benefits for you that you've seen in doing overspeed training. Uh, any gains, um, any club head speed gains, I know I've personally seen. Uh, you hit the ball farther than you really ever hit it before. So I uh, can talk, about the talk to the golfers a little bit about uh, just how much this can really help your game. Yeah, the end of November last year through to about middle, middle of January, end of January, I was able to do a good like six, seven weeks in a row of good quality training. Um, so I went through pro all the protocols level of level one and started kind of level two there as well. Um, we did a, a weekly update of me picking up club speed and I picked up six miles an hour club speed. And I was really, really impressed. Now the reason I mentioned I was kind of up towards the end of January and then, then I was actually needed more in the fitting base. So I, was, I wasn't able to completely keep up with mm -hmm. every single day to try and get everything done. And that definitely is a downfall. Overspeed training really works. But if you don't keep up with it, right. you're gonna plateau out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what we've noticed here is my club speed's kind of plateaued out around about 116 miles an hour, as I've only maybe doing it kind of once, once a week, essentially, to kind of keep the gains. But I plan on continuing on doing it, because mm -hmm. I definitely see the potential here. Just need to find more time. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I know I second swing, this is that busy time of year, yeah. uh, when golfers are gearing up around, especially in the Minnesota area, gearing up for the golf season. So course your time is largely spent in the fitting bay but um, so the you know you've been using super speed uh, training sticks here there's the three different um, sticks here right you got a light one a, a kind of a medium one and then a heavy one yep um, and so you've gone through each of those there's different protocols and different suggestions from super speed on how to best optimize your swing and then you got a rip stick here so explain to us a little bit about the rip stick um, and I mean it's an overspeed training tool uh, but how it works and you know maybe a quick comparison be between that and super speed yeah, so Ripstick, it's actually a Minnesota-based company. So Luke Benoit, he actually uh, got a kinesiology background, University of Minnesota. He just got his doctorate there. I uh, actually took some classes with him when I was at the U of M in kinesiology when I was doing grad school there as well. Um, he's also a teaching professional. Really understands the body movement, the so body movement and, and speed. So mm -hmm. the Ripstick, the nice thing with it is it's uh, all in one. So as opposed to with the super speed training sticks, you've got three of them. So you can actually modify this. So we actually have like a 60 gram, gram kind of counterbalance weight you can screw in the top here. And then we have these little 30 gram weights. They're kind of like little bullets that you kind of load in there and you can modify the weight. So the nice thing is you're able to adjust this one and bring mm -hmm. only one stick with you. Super speed stick, they're great, but you do have obviously three sticks within there as well. So kind of some differences between them right off the bat there. 258 grams is the lightest weight with the green super speed mm -hmm. stick. When I was weighing the uh, rip stick without any counterbalance weight in the, in the grip or any weights in here, we're at 275. Okay. So from there, you can go up, you add this in there, you're at 335 grams. Add these in here, you've, you can go 30, 60, 90 with regards to gram weight there as well. Okay. So slightly lighter with the super speed with that, with that green stick, but a lot more modified with, with the rip stick and only one stick in your hands. Sure, so you can make more adjustments maybe and get more detailed with the ripstick uh, as well. So, and again, that for convenience sake too, having just the one, of course, is, is a nice feature there. So, so today we can see how it works. We're gonna let you test it out. We've got your club speed radar here to see how the club speeds um, maybe match up. And again, like you said, it's not gonna be a perfect uh, match in terms of weights or anything like that, but um, we'll maybe swing, you know, each of them here see how they work and ultimately we're gonna, you know, we're gonna see how, you know, your speed can maybe fluctuate here with the different weights. But, um, and like you've already said, the, the advantages of overspeed training are certainly there. And I've watched you gain those six miles an hour on club speed over the past few months here. So, um, you ready to get after it here? Maybe yeah, a I'm, bit? I'm definitely get at, ready to get after it. I would say I'm definitely upset at myself that I haven't been able to keep up that three to four times a week mm -hmm. because I am absolutely seeing those gains. So keep at it if you do it. You know, I got six or seven weeks in here. Now I'm down to kind of, one, kind of once a week. But I, my goal here is for sure to find more time and continue mm -hmm. on to, you know, take everyone else on that process as well. As, you know, for me, I'm trying to get to 120 miles an hour with my, with my club speed. I was very, very close on one of the videos we did. 
The golf shaft helped me out a little bit with that one there mm -hmm. as well. And also 180 mile an hour ball speed. If I can get there, I'm definitely gonna hit ball up further. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, all right, so you got the ripstick. Maybe you wanna swing that first at the lightest setting and we'll kind of work our way up. Let's do it. Okay, so Thomas, we've got the lightest of each right now. I've got like 258 gram, the light uh, super speed. You've got 275 grams with kind of no added weight to the ripstick. So we'll see how the club speed radar picks up your speed here. Yeah, let's, let's see how it feels in my, in my hands comparing the two of them. Let's start off with the, the ripstick. I'm just going to do a few swings here. That first swing was 117 miles an hour. 122, 121, and like 115. So it also is important because this really helps using this radar when you're doing this just training protocol because you can really figure out where you're able to pick up more club speed of the way you load that golf club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. I know creating you know lag, I guess, is the yep. is the term that a lot of uh, you know, teaching professionals will use to kind of help you get that increase in speed. And so this is a way also to kind of see which is most effective. But yep. Okay, here's the lighter 258 gram yep. of the super speed here. It's a different sound. Yeah, a little it's bit. Definitely a different sound, yeah. I really went after that one. A huh? little bit lower on the club speed there. 114, 110. So I'm not actually, it's kind of interesting. That's more me probably loading the club, but let's try one more. All right, so 122. So okay. both of them were kind of around about yeah. 122 on the, at the highest point there. Okay. It's definitely felt a little lighter. We know it is in, in weight there. I need to catch my breath a little bit here. <laughs> So um, definitely a different sound when we have those um, those openings essentially yep. on that one. It doesn't have any weights, and you can mm -hmm. hear that that swoosh where this was just sounded yep. fast. So. Yep, yep. There's definitely a difference there. And uh, I mean, did you? Does it feel any different? Is there any characteristics in terms of the the sticks themselves, or is it just you know very minute weight differences? I mean, minus the slight differences in, in grip feel. This one's a little tacky grip. This is a little more kind of yeah, like your, okay. your golf pride grip. I mean, no, honestly, they, they okay. feel pretty similar. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can maybe move up the, the ladder here. And so the next weight for the super speed is 293. Okay. Um, and so there's only three weight settings you can really achieve, obviously, with super speed with three sticks. Uh, but you can actually make, I think it's up to eight different weights with the rip stick. So you can really kind of climb the ladder if you want to and go every rung there, but there's three rungs with the super speed. And so we'll maybe go compare to the most medium setting um, for the rip stick. Yeah, and then keep in mind too, super speed, they do have a counterbalance option as well. But once again, you're buying a different product there as well, where with rip stick, you kind of have it all in one, mm -hmm. which is which is great because sure. you don't mm -hmm. have to buy two different, two different products. Yeah. So to match up the medium setting for super speed, we're gonna go to the 305 grams on the ripstick. And I, I, I think I'm doing this right, Thomas. Just slide the weight in. Yep, and then kind of lock it, it in. Lock it in. Seems pretty simple, right? Yep, pretty simple. Yep. So that should be 305 grams, which is gonna be slightly heavier than the, uh, the medium super speed. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, probably could feel it a little bit there, but pretty, pretty similar in general. It was 117. It's getting warmed up. 119. So with it being heavier, you'd expect that you quite, can't quite get to the same yeah. uh, speed as with a lighter stick. And maybe at the end we'll do light versus light right when I'm completely warmed up. Yeah, true. Oh, that'd yeah. be a good one. To that'd do. be a good one to test. Okay. So here's the medium. 293 grams, so about 12 grams lighter than what you just swung here with the ripstick. Okay. 114, 116, 
went after that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little off balance on that one. Once again, a little, little bit fast. Even though the club's a little heavier, it's kind of interesting. I mean, more probably me loading the club, mm -hmm. but you'll notice we're within a couple miles an hour with each one. Sure, and there could be yeah. some different characteristics too within the stick itself yep. that are helping club speed or decreasing club speed. So, um, all right, so what we're gonna do now, we can go to the heaviest super speed, and then we'll try to find the most comparable setting here for the rip stick. Uh, and match that up. Now, there are, again, a ton more options here with the ripstick in terms of the different weights, but we'll try to find the closest match here to the super speed. Okay, sounds good. All right, so Thomas, 335 grams. We've got two weights at okay. the end of the club there. Uh, and then the heavy weight for super speed is 339, so very comparable there. Uh, but then you can go up, you know, 365, 395, 425 actually with the rip stick. So yeah, I mean, you put that weight up here too with mm -hmm. that counterbalance weight, you can yep. definitely get pretty heavy. Yep. 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 That was 109. 108. 109. Pretty similar. There you go. Yep. All right, well now we got the 339 gram yep. for super speed. That was 112. Loaded that swing a little bit better. One oh five. Which reminds me how important it is to keep up with this. <laughs> this is a lot of swinging. And 104. So I did get a little faster on the first mm -hmm. one. Last yeah. couple maybe kind of a little, little bit tired there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, hitting bombs isn't easy, right? <laughs> um, so, and with this, so we've got right now two of the 30 gram weights near the top. There's another slot for another weight to add in there. And then you can also add the uh, counterbalance weight on the top of the club here. So there are a bunch of different ways you can go to add weight, take weight out of the ripstick. So that's a nice advantage to this one as well. So. Uh, I know you wanted to maybe max out with the lightest options of each again and see if you can, you know, maybe reach I don't know, 130 or higher than that. We'll I don't see. know what your record is for this, <laughs> but we'll try that out. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Um, see which one maybe is going to get me a little, little faster. I'll give myself like five swings at each one and see which one I can get faster. Okay. That's 124. One twenty six. <laughs> Left my balance a little bit. <laughs> well, that's the that's the point. That's yeah. the overspeed training. I mean, we're trying to train the body to swing yeah. as fast as they can, and the lighter sticks help oh, train yeah. your body get used to that feeling yeah. of swinging. Well, and you're already accomplishing higher speeds than when you started. Yep. Yeah, so that was like one twenty four. Okay. All right. So this one now the. If I remember correctly, the lightest super speed is 258. Okay. So it should be a little bit lighter than this. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Let's see. It's 121. 119. 125. There you go. That was, that was pretty quick. So, so, I mean, you did pick up a little bit of club speed just from the beginning of this to the end, and now that's yep. obviously a very, very small fraction of the actual training process for each of these yes. products. But um, it does show that the overspeed training does train the body to swing faster, and then over time, you're able to build up that club speed, and you've seen it firsthand that it can help you out. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it's a small fraction of the actual training process. Let's just talk about like the, what the actual training process kind mm -hmm. of entails, because that's important. I'm just swinging right-handed as fast as I as fast as I can. What you do in the training protocol is you actually do left-handed swings as well. Mm -hmm. You also do a step-through method where you're kind of stepping into the into the shot and then and then swinging as well, doing it left-handed as well. And then in protocol level two with the overspeed training, essentially, what you're doing you're starting to do some swings on your knees as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's where I'm at right now, in uh, in level two. Hopefully, get to level three here soon and. So yeah, you, you, you can tell I'm, I'm out of breath and obviously it pays, <laughs> pays dividends. Um, we did a very, just very, very short period of time, but yeah. definitely take your time. Yeah. It doesn't take long, but when you're doing it, absolutely you should have a radar because mm -hmm. that way you can push yourself. You see that, that max speed, write it down, record those numbers. Next week, next week's your goal to beat those mm -hmm. with each different stick there as well. And 
when I was doing, you know, really, I think it was end of, de end of December, I got up to, I think it was 130 something with the, with the green stick at, at max speed. And that's, it's a lot of, lot of speed. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, we're kind of jumping right into it today. Not completely kind of warmed yeah. up. Didn't give myself a chance to kind of warm my body up or anything like that. That is important as well because we don't want to hurt ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to hurt yourself. Make sure that you do go for the, the training warm up as well. Right. And then you can find, find that on both probably Ripstick website and also the Super Speed Golf website as well. But yeah, they're, they're both great options. Mm -hmm. um, you got modifications there. We didn't play around with the ca counterbalance weight with yeah. the Ripstick there too. It would definitely make it in a little bit heavier. You could obviously have lighter head more weight in the grip, you could make, make it completely heavy all the way through there as well. Yep. So you've got some options to play around with to figure out which way you're able to get more club speed. And right. that's the end, end goal, is getting more club speed to give you more potential distance. Yep, and both of these products do that very well through their methods of overspeed training. Of course, a little bit different between each, but ultimately the goal and the result is more club speed for golfers out there. So. Super speed, overspeed training sticks, or the rip stick, both available at second swing. Uh, Thomas gave us a good in-depth review today of not only the benefits of overspeed training, but also what each product is able to offer you. So uh, if you have any questions, of course, call our online fitting and support team as well. And I'll answer your questions, or you can visit secondswing.com and learn more. So Thomas, thanks for uh, going through the, the exercise today and showing us what these are all about. Yeah, not a problem. I would say absolutely keep at it once you start doing the training protocol. Keep it up because you will see some progress.